Angie's Mystery Beer is sponsored by Taps Growler House. Hey everybody, it's Ben Surratt here. Every episode of the Business Over Beer podcast, my lovely wife Angela brings us a mystery beer. We call this segment Angie's Mystery Beer. Well, for season five, we did something a little bit special. At the Columbia Credit Union John McKibben Legacy Classic Golf Tournament, we had Angie's Mystery Keg. Special thanks to Taps Growler House for supplying the, the keg for us. Instead of just tasting the beer and trying to figure out what it was, we had a bunch of players and a bunch of sponsors try the beer, give us feedback, and what they thought the beer was. Needless to say, we were really, really surprised what the beer ended up being. Links to the entire Season 5 are all included in the links below, so check those out, please. And if you like what you see, please subscribe, like, and share. We'd appreciate it. And remember, it's not about what you do. It's about the story behind what you do. Prost! Live, we're drinking. Wow. We're do. drinking the mystery to Angie's mystery keg. Uh, yes. it's we have two special guests. Two with of our us. very special guests. You guys know them. They're familiar voices here on the season five of the Business of Beer podcast. Go ahead, ladies, introduce yourself. Hello, this is Megan McKibben, and hello, this is Jennifer McKibben. Welcome back for like the 18th time, but that's cool. Thank oh, we you. love you guys. We'll be back as many times as you invite us. I mean, you are the, you are the, you or are, maybe uh, even if you don't invite us. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I have I mean, a feeling it's the latter. I mean, as as the namesakes of the tournament, you get you get special privileges. One All of those right. being, you get access to the Business of Beer podcast. Right. So that's pretty sweet. So we're drinking this beer. Um, what do you guys think? Have you guys tasted the we mystery to Angie's mystery beer? Oh, Prost. I have Prost. not yet. Prost. 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 Oh, sorry. That's okay. Megan and I are sharing. That's good. And in the nice, time of COVID, nice that's definitely side. highly recommended. No, have it yet. They're sisters. It's okay. Um, first of all, can I say it was awesome to be able to meet Angie? Uh, yes. In person. That's right. Yeah. That's right. She's a lovely and, individual. Um, Yes, enjoyed that first beer over there. I believe it was Apocalypse, wasn't it? It was very good. Yeah. <laughs> Kayla, I just, where you're I'm at. sorry. I just got a microphone to the forehead. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> hey, Kayla, <laughs> watch your pointing that thing, will you? Uh, <laughs> Thump. Easy there, champ. Oh, it's so funny. Anyhow, so excited for my second beer of the day, and Jennifer drank out of my up before me, which I feel like is right. almost a little bit sacrilegious. Um, but I mean, I hate to be a stickler here, but the question was, what did you think of the beer? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'll start off as the mm, okay. n- non-advanced palate, or not accomplished palate as when it comes recall, to beer. As you she had lining kugels. Uh, Ooh, lining. Yeah. yeah. At, that's a good porch pounder, as it, Ben yeah, shared with us earlier. It is. Mm-hmm. So, um, the thing that I'm curious about, so it it's actually pretty smooth, which I like. Um, I love the color of it. It's, it's hazy. very hazy. Yeah. It's light hazy. The thing is, is that there's a particular, almost like a fruit in the yes. aftertaste very that I good. cannot identify. What do you think? Is it, it is a grapefruit? Ben? It's is a grapefruit. grapefruit. So yeah. usually you hazy get that, IPA. but you taste at the very end. It's yes. very bitter. It it's is really bitter. <laughs> Hazies, you can get some bitter hazies, but usually. They're not as bitter in the back. Mm-hmm. They're usually up front bitterness. That fruit, that grapefruity, makes me believe it's like some sort of double hopped or like a. Is that what it okay. is? Yeah, 
I mean, in it's, my, I mean, it's fresh hop season. Yeah. Could it be that's a fresh what I, hop? that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Do you think it's, it's a fresh? So wait, see, you see, guys don't even know what mystery is. No, it's we a have mystery. no idea. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I do. kind of assumed that no. you were in on the mystery. No, no. we are oh, never wow. in on no, a never. mystery beer. Again, as a non connoisseur here, and, and apparently Megan never listens to the show, <laughs> or else she would know that we don't know what it is. But that's fine. That's Jennifer did. Jennifer listens to the show all the time. Avid listener. But as a non connoisseur here. See, I was um, gonna say though, I, or you think it's grapefruit? I thought it was pineapple. I'm getting pineapple. Oh, I am. oh okay. Again, as a non connoisseur here, <laughs> Ben's um, dying over there. I, Jennifer is a I non connoisseur. Say, Let's I, get her point I, of view. I would say that there is definitely a very strong hoppy taste right. to this beer that I, admittedly, generally do not prefer. However, I think the fruit flavoring that whatever that is, we're trying to identify right. whether it's grapefruit or some other citric fruit. Um, it's definitely coming out in the end. Yeah. Big time. Canoper, what did you think of it? About the same. I can't figure out if it's grapefruit or pineapple, though. I'm stumped. I think, Delicious beer, though. I think I think the bitterness is throwing me out because it is it is yeah. wildly yeah. bitter. It's it so is. bitter, especially on the back. Which, which so, makes which me so believe unique. it's a fresh hop. I'm going I'm, I'm going to stick with pineapple. Jonathan, I, don't think I'm, I think I'm going to support you on I that. I don't think it's grapefruit. I'm going yeah. with pineapple. J- just to be the outlier, I'm, I think I'm going to commit to uh, the grapefruit. I'm with you, 100%. Um, but, I, I mean, it's a toss-up. I'm with Jonathan. But I think it's a double. <clears throat> it's a double. I think it's a double I think because it's a, of the hop. I think the hop makes it a double. At the very back, too. Yeah. And it gives you that. Yeah. <laughs> and I, and, I, and oh, honestly, wow. guys, I think I need more cowbell. You probably oh, need God, more I cowbell. I had one. You know, I, as everybody who listens, all the avid listeners, they know that uh, I don't generally agree with Kaler. <laughs> I, I really disagree with him in general. But I have to agree with him on this Just one. Just at life yes. in general. Yeah, in life in general, Kayla and I don't agree on anything. That's three You're against going pineapple? two. You're going pineapple? Yeah, I'm, I'm going pineapple. pineapple. It's a mm-hmm. pineapple. It's the... Oh. It is a pineapple. It's a pineapple. Mm-hmm. Or what I, are they, is I, it? I honestly hope it's not fresh hop, because if it's fresh hop, there's really no reason to go hazy on fresh hop. Um, I don't think... Well, that's so where we may, differ. So I don't so think it's fresh. I don't think it's hoppy enough for me to be fresh hop. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's hoppy, yes, but I don't think it's fresh hop. All right, well, we're going to get some other opinions hopefully before the end of the day, and then we will have the big reveal. What do you think about that mystery beer? It's refreshing. Yeah. A little on the bitter side, which is why I like it. Yeah. Yeah. It is bitter. It's good. And I want to say it's a milkshake, Uh, uh, I think. Emily loves it. It looks like there's a little lactose. A little lactose? Yeah. A little spill. Mm -hmm. It's good to have that again from that. That's good. It tastes better at this time of day. It, it feels so good when it hits the lips. <laughs> Are we going to get Frank the Tank? Is Frank the Tank coming out? Wait a second. Frank the Tank. Frank the Tank. <laughs> okay, Whack job. I, I taste a little bit of lemon. I get it back. A little fruitiness. Yeah, Stop. kind of, kind of a, fruity. A hazy. Style, style flavor. Definitely a hazy IPA. I, 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 but not very. That's kind of what I think. Yeah, I don't know. A hazy, fruity IPA ish. I'm not a beer connoisseur. Oh, that's, that's cool. That's all right. That's good. No, that's good. <laughs> but I tried. You put ish with it. Ish. Yeah, and yeah. Ish right? means anything. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Cheers. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Prost. Cheers. Did you have any of the mystery beer with us? I can't remember. The mystery beer, no. Yeah, oh, hey, hang on. Can I grab one of those? Wow. So. It's like a lemon Hefeweizen type. Yeah, everybody has their own little uh, palate, so. Yeah, I know, it's nice. It's good, isn't it? Smooth, very, very nice. Yeah. I like it. Might be my favorite Andrew's mystery beer ever. (laughs) Cheers. No, no. Thank you very much. Cheers, yes. Looks like, yeah. Stifler's pale ale right there. <laughs> <laughs> Juicy. Right. Yeah. Ooh, I like it though. Yeah. Is it hazy IPA? Uh, it's got Do you be. not know? I, I have no We idea. don't know yet. It's got to be. I mean, it's definitely on the hazy side. Oh, it, look at it. Beers! There you go. Thank you. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Are you having one too? I'm mean, gonna have one too. Sweet. We're all having one out here. We're, we don't know what it is. Yeah, please. We don't know what it is, so we're gonna do the reveal right now. It's part of our podcast. It's Angie's Mystery Beer, but Taps Growler House is actually sponsoring as well, and so it's a mystery mystery beer. Angie doesn't know what it is either. So. Oh, check that out. Why are you? I'm rallying the troops. All right. The video. I've been Here's in some. Here's the idea. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna sip the beer. We're all gonna say what we phone? think about it, what we how what we taste, what we like about it, what we don't like about it. All right, is everybody ready? This right. is mystery to Angie's mystery beer 
sponsored by Top Scrawler House for the Columbia Credit Union McKibben Legacy McKibben. Classic Golf Tournament. Okay. Now seriously, nobody knows what this beer is. No, no nobody. It, it looks cloudy though. It, it looks is. cloudy. That's true. Yeah. What do you What do you heavy. think? A little heavy, yeah. yeah. Citrus. Jason, where did you find that? Ah, we'll find out soon. Cap Strowler House. It reminds me of a beer I just had at Three Peaks just the, um, two days ago. Grapefruit or pineapple? Thank you. I feel like we need I think it's great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think it's great for you. Grapefruit. Yeah, oh, Team grapefruit. Team grapefruit. All right. All right. <laughs> Time for the big reveal. Please. Should be great. Ooh. Okay. Look at that. I see blue. It's, it's a blue boy. beer. It's, it's a, a boy. boy. <laughs> it's a boy. It's a boy. Brothers, Brothers Cascadia. Brothers Cascadia. It is, you like the Juicy Hazy IPA. It How is, you like the juice. Yeah. Did you like the juice? You don't drink enough beer. What is it, 6.5? Is that what it says? It is a 6.5. Yeah. Oh, yeah. look at her. Yeah. Taylor, look at her. Taylor, Taylor, can, att oh, <laughs> Taylor can attest to the 6.5. It is, you okay, like okay, the juice? We have How did okay. we not get that? I don't know how we didn't get that. It shouldn't be. That's the problem. All right, you like yeah, the like juice? Should have gotten that. Is our rendition of a New England style IPA cloudy, lush, and extremely refreshing? It starts off with a massive punch yes. of yes. juicy, citrusy hops. Yes. Uh huh. Bold aromas of orange, okay. tangerine, uh -huh. tropical stone fruits. No. Envelope the senses. Leading into a soft palate that is fruity and balanced. No. no. Very little bitterness keeps the beer well, nope, extremely don't agree with that. sessionable. Did Kevin get the right beer? Allowing all of the other bold characteristics to stand out. All right. So no. I, wrong. Hold on, hold on. Wrong. No I just wrong. Wrong. I need to go on record that I said stone fruit earlier. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't see. I don't, no. No. Not any one of us said stone fruit. Once again, Angie's Mystery Beer is sponsored by Paps Growler House. Special thanks to Brothers Cascadia Brewing for providing the keg. Prost. So I forget Jason's okay. bald now, and All I right. forget you guys only know him bald. This is... <laughs> this is... All right.